Hello and welcome to Montana Haven and welcome to my kitchen. Before I go to bed tonight, which it's like nine o'clock right now, but before I go to bed, I wanna start my sourdough pancakes. And when I say sourdough pancakes, you can make waffles out of it, which I would like to do that tomorrow. I would like to make some waffles, but I will also do some pancakes just so you can see how they look. But ever since I started using sourdough, I kind of made my own sourdough pancake recipe. Now I looked off of other ones, but then I kind of tweaked it to my to how I like it. A lot of the recipes I found are kind of thick and really gloopy. And although this is maybe still kind of like that, it's a little bit less. So I just changed some of the stuff in the recipe slightly. So it's my own recipe. So you have to get part of the recipe together tonight and then the rest you will do in the morning when I'm ready to fry my waffles or my pancakes. And here I want to show you my sourdough starter. It is so nice and it smells so like sweet. Like it has this yeasty smell. It's just, it's so, oh, I love it. Just look at that. See all those bubbles in there? That's, that's how it's supposed to be. And what you want to do is like feed your starter. I just had a little bit of starter in here this morning. I just put a cup of flour in it and some water and mixed it up and then set it back on my counter to just ferment and bubble until tonight. So I have fresh and fed sourdough starter for my pancakes or waffles. So let's get going here and I'll show you what I'll put together this evening and then I'll do the rest tomorrow. It's so easy. The night before you want to mix one cup of sourdough and one cup of milk or kefir if you have that on hand and then a heaping cup of flour. I use freshly ground spelt flour, but you can use whatever you want. And then also two tablespoons of whatever kind of sugar you want to use. I use sucanat sugar. And then you just mix that all together. Last, you will cover it with plastic wrap and set it back on your counter for overnight. And by the time morning gets there, it will be nice and bubbly and ready for the rest of the ingredients. to start my waffles here and we are hungry I've got Avalon there in the background and she's making some buttermilk syrup so I'll also write the recipe for that down below and this is how the batter is looking this morning it's very bubbly so it's doing very well now I'm gonna put the rest of the stuff in it just mix it up and get it in my waffle iron I have one like this where I just set it on the stove so it heats up like that I don't have an electric one so that's what I'm using okay now you want to fold in a fourth cup of butter and then there's two teaspoons of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of salt and then just a dash of vanilla The 
And last, we add the beaten eggs. You beat these for about a minute at least, and there's two of them, and you just fold them in here. I did not have any cooking spray on hand, so I just used a cold stick of butter, and that really worked great. The waffles didn't stick at all. So Avalon's got the buttermilk syrup almost made. And you always want to have it in a big pot because it just really bubbles up. It's because of the soda and the buttermilk. And we actually didn't have buttermilk, so we just used milk and some apple cider vinegar. And that works just fine. And I'll write the recipe below for you so that you can make that if you want. Or you can just have real maple syrup too. Great. Perfect. Okay, so here I am making one pancake for you guys, just so you can see how pancakes turn out. And we love it that way too. I often do it that way, especially if I'm a little bit more in a hurry. So this buttermilk syrup is very dark colored because of the sucanat sugar that I use, but if you use white sugar, it will be much lighter in color. made this really good food. Aren't we all excited? Yeah. yeah. So good. That's amazing. <laughs> Everyone's hungry. It's a little later this morning. Can't so wait to try it. <laughs> Are you hungry, Chloe? <laughs> Thanks again so much for watching you all. This recipe is very simple. It's a delicious sourdough recipe and we are gonna love it. So we will see you all on the next video. Bye. 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 Bye.